Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which are all the books I am bringing with me or plan to read on my travels this summer. So if you are new to the channel or haven't watched a lot of my recent videos, then you might not know that I'm actually going on a two month vacation this summer. So we are flying to Greece and then we are going to take the train and visit a bunch of different cities and countries and we're actually going to end in Morocco for about two months and then we will fly back home and start the new school year. So I definitely have a lot of books planned to read on this trip but I also I don't know how much reading I'll actually get done because I do plan on reading on the plane and there will be a couple of different plane trips. So obviously there's the one to get to Greece and the one to get home but then there might be another plane from the south of Spain to Morocco. There are those but then there are also going to be a lot of train rides between countries and cities within Europe as well. So there are opportunities for me to read during these travel times, but I probably won't do a lot of reading every day just because I'll be exploring and then I'll be tired, but who knows? So I have lined up a bunch of books that are mostly travel based that I am going to have prepped for me to bring to Europe. Now, majority of these are going to be audiobooks, books I have checked out from the library and I'm downloading onto my phone to be able to listen to. That way I don't bring a whole ton of physical books because I am only bringing a carry-on. So I don't have a lot of space to bring a bunch of books and I would normally bring my e-reader but uh, the battery life on that thing is just not great and I haven't been doing a lot of e-reading recently so I don't know if that's something I'm really interested in continuing, although I do hope to get some books in Europe as well. The first one is called Meet Me in Paradise. I don't actually remember much about this book. I just know that I kind of looked through like travel-based rom-coms because that's kind of what I think I'll be in the mood for as I am traveling with my partner. Meet Me in Paradise was one. I don't actually know much about this book, but that's one I'll be bringing. Another one that I'm going to bring is Shift, and I know this is like a workplace rivals to lovers. I believe these two people are vying for the same promotion or project, and they both get sent on this um, cruise, I think it is, to kind of sub to put together and submit their proposals. So there's a cruise, there's travel. I also wanted to do a lot of uh, like rom-coms because I can get through them pretty quickly because I'm not going to have a lot of time to read. So I don't want to feel like I'm actually in a reading slump when I'm not. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Book number three is called From the Jump and this is by an author that I have read before who has written another travel-based book that I have already read and so I'm giving this author, I mean I liked their other books so it's not like I'm giving them another chance, but you know it's a three star, it was pretty average, but From the Jump I believe is about this woman who is very uptight but her friends all decide, like they go on vacation regularly and so this time she says no to her work and she is going to go on vacation with them to South Africa. While South Africa is not on our itinerary, I am open to reading any and all books about travel, <laughs> not necessarily to where we are because that is very particular, but I do have a couple books that I have been reading that have been very inspiring about my trip. Anyway, I'll move on now. <laughs> so the next one is Just Haven't Met You Yet. And this book, I think is such a fun, interesting premise. So you've got your main character who is traveling and she ends up switching suitcases with someone at the airport. When they reach their destination, she realizes that, you know, she switched suitcases. And so she looks through to try and figure out who it is, how she can contact them to get her suitcase back. And she realizes that this suitcase belongs to her ideal man. Like, it's, to her it seems meant to be, and so 
she goes on this trip she's also trying to figure out who the suitcase belongs to and who might just be her soulmate i think this sounds so cute and quite unique the next book i am bringing along is called one italian summer this book has gotten some mixed reviews i've seen some people love it and some people hate it and it follows your main character whose mother recently passes away and she's very close to her mother and so she decides to go to this trip to italy that they were always going to do or she decides to do a trip inspired by her mom or something like that and she ends up i don't know if she like sees her mom or there's some i think magical realism-esque thing that puts her and her mom in italy together so i think it is going to be a very emotional book and again italy is not on our itinerary but it comes really close and we've strongly debated going there but I think that's just going to have to be another trip all its own. Now, the final book that I'm going to bring with me on vacation. So again, a lot of these are really short, contemporary, kind of travel-based rom-coms that I'm going to be listening to on the planes and on the trains. But I did want to bring at least one physical book with me to read in the hostels, in the Airbnbs, hotels, everywhere we're staying to just kind of wind down and so I limited myself to one physical book and this is a book I recently got and I think it is the perfect summer book for this. So I got The Adventures of Amina Al Sarafi and this is by Shannon Jacroborti and this follows a female pirate who's like ready to retire but then a friend reaches out to her and is like hey I think my daughter has been kidnapped will you like go rescue her? So it is, I mean, look at this cover though, too. Ooh. So yeah, it's not quite Mediterranean. It's more Middle East inspired, or at least that's what the map is. It's The map is more around the Arab Sea. And it's this female pirate, and I am so stoked to read this. It is a bit thicker, so I definitely won't finish this by the end of the trip, but it should definitely last me the entire trip. Like, Rather than taking a contemporary romance that might last me a week, might last me a month, I think this will help last the whole two months. So this is the physical one that I've chosen to bring with me. And I think it'll be a good beach read too. Like it's fantasy, but I really want to get more into physically reading fantasy this summer anyway. And since majority of my summer is going to be abroad, I thought this would be the perfect book to bring with me. Thank you all for watching this short little video of kind of my travel reads TBR, like loosely, unofficially. Super excited for this trip and if you like this video let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Also feel free to subscribe. I will still continue to post one video every week, hopefully, throughout this vacation. Um, and I will have another video with my travel recommendation books in case you're planning on traveling or you want to live vicariously through a book character, then I will have that video going up for you as well. So make sure you hit the bell to be notified when those posts go up. Otherwise, I do have bookish social media linked down below that you can follow me on my adventures there. And comment down below if you're traveling this summer, if you have any travel recommendations for me or for other people or if you've read any of these books, what your thoughts on them are, I would love to hear from you. But again, thank you all very much for watching this video, and until I see you in the next one, I wish you happy reading!